Hey, Ryan Lewis. Hey. <laughs> we turn on to the camera. So Ryan Lewis is here. He's a my good friend that I've known for four years now from every single the, the, every single boot festival that, that we've had from day one. Yep. He's, he's been there. And yep. you've transformed. Yeah. You've transformed since day one. Yeah, up, down. I have, a, I have a, a history of weight loss and weight gain and yeah. Yeah, I met I met Ryan uh, actually online first. It was on Thirty Bananas a Day that I met you, and um, it was virtual, of course. Until we finally met in person, has the best laugh. We gotta we gotta get that laugh out of you, I'm sure you at can one do it. point. I'm sure at you one can point. do it. I don't know about that. That's a challenge. But um, yeah. So what? How did you start off vegan first? First off, I found health and through, I found health mainly through weight loss. But I was always a compassionate person. I was always uh, into animals, like decorating my room with all Indian and dream catchers and pictures of bears. And oh, really? Yeah, I loved, uh, I loved animals so much. I was, and the first time my, my mom bought me a fishing pole when I was like um, 10 years old or something. And I went fishing and I caught a fish and freaked out. Like, really? I just like, I hate it. Like, I hate it. And like, the gift was a total flop. But <laughs> yeah, so, but I didn't stop eating meat till about, mm, I think about almost eight years now, and I was com went completely vegan. Right. And then shortly after, uh, into raw foods. What did you see the changes that you saw that was significant? Like, not the small changes. Well, maybe you could ch talk about the small changes, mm -hmm. too. Going vegan, it's a major jump. It was a major jump for me, Absolutely. I know. Yeah, it is a big jump. The biggest the biggest challenge for me as far as going vegan was was socially just in, just becoming a vegan like in your oh, character yeah. and like yeah, yeah. admitting to that and like and telling being, your family being different. and friends yeah, yeah and be like I'm not going to eat what you guys eat anymore and not and trying to not offend them by doing so so yeah that was a big that was the toughest part for me actually more so than the practices because I was ready for it um you were living in Philadelphia I was now. living in New Jersey then oh, with, New with Jersey. my folks yeah and um the biggest benefits really more so than the actual physical health was just like I felt just like more aligned I felt like a karmic load was just shed like like I get like oh I don't have to do this anymore engage those practices and like the, and like eating the animals when I when part of me back, back of my head was always like you know you're eating a part of an animal right. that, that suffered and died That's like, what like it's, to me. yeah and I was just always kind of quiet that like a lot of people do and so I just realized like that went away and it was just like my my I got a much more peace of mind I feel like it reinforced my compassion in nature. Right, right. That's what happened to me. And, you know, I don't know if you know, you probably don't know. He's so poetic. So, so poetic. Your your words that you put down, even on an Instagram post, I suggest you follow him on Instagram. His pictures, he's an artist, and he also has beautiful poetry that he writes. You're very, very expressive. Uh, yeah. Rai Lu, what's your, what's your uh, how do they find you? I just changed it. Rai Lu to you. Rai Lu the number to two? you, yeah. Letter you. I really suggest you follow him because he really, really um, has a really good way with words. Yeah, it's not. I'm not. Real, I'm not a poet in the sense that, that I tend to. Oh, I don't write so much, but um, but yeah, when I do uh, get inspired and I put up a post kind of randomly, I'm not like one of those people that posts every day. But when what I are you do, saying, Ryan? <laughs> when I, when I do, I'm not disciplined, but because I yeah, do. it's more on uh, it's more on whim and inspiration, yeah. like somewhat channeling of something that's coming through me, and I just want to share it. And now you're living on the big island of Hawaii, um, and Megan and Joey are your really good friends. Yeah. Megan, Elizabeth, and Joey. Yeah, they'll be living together. And uh, they're going to be living together, and they already did. You already did. Yeah, yeah. And I got to say, um, meeting Ryan is just like, I feel like you're like a brother or a cousin mm -hmm. to me. Like, you just have like this, this very approachable, huggable type of guy. That's what you are. You know, you're just very, very warm. Very, very warm guy. Well, I can say the same for you. Like, I'm, I'm in... Arnstein's house right now, their <laughs> beautiful house on Oahu, and it's my first time really uh, on the island other than layovers, and man, what a glorious and he's place. only staying for a day. Yeah, <laughs> only a day this time, because we got to go back and move. But move next back. time you come, you stay for oh, a for week. for sure, for least. sure. I'm happy to get integrated Take here. you around. And uh, the big island, I knew, just talking to him on a chat, the helicopter going by, or a plane. A seaplane. Said he was coming to Hawaii. I said you're never gonna leave. You're never going to leave, and I was right. 
Yep. He came here with a backpack. I'm like, yeah, I'll stay like three weeks with Megan and Joey and like, you know, just to see the island on my way through and go visit Asia. I just brought a simple backpack, really minimalist traveling, and then next thing I know, I'm like, I'm signing a six month lease on a house and buying a car. And Amazing. Come moving day, I just grab my little backpack and move into a new house. <laughs> Two New Jersey New Yorkers are in Hawaii and we're absolutely loving it. Yep. No joke. Um, you're going to have a retreat after the Woodstock Food Festival After the Woodstock in Festival. In uh, April. Yeah. Day, day or two after we're starting Big Island Fruit Fest and it's an open festival. It's great. People can come and um, we're, we're going to recommend some accommodations and we're going to give tours on the markets and uh, other beautiful spots on the island. Who are you doing that with, Megan, Joey, and Evan? Megan, Elizabeth, Rock? Joey, Borden, and uh, Evan Rock, yeah. It's a great team. Yeah. Dream team, the dream team. Yeah, and there'll be probably more of us uh, locals, some of our friends, uh, to help get people integrated. And yeah, and if anybody's on board, if anybody wants to volunteer and stuff like that, maybe sure. you should contact Ryan. For sure. I mean, nothing to be too organized. We're just going to be... I'm, but the, uh, so the, there's a Facebook group where people are going to be able to make their own sub events and like meetups and stuff. So it's going to be a thing where we're going to help people like get their, get their feet on the ground and, uh, decide if they want to move here. Yeah, just uh, give them, like, give them their own, their own, uh, responsibility so they can figure out where everything is and then. It's great. It. Yeah. It's a great launching pad Absolutely. because I wish I had that when I got here. When mm -hmm. I got here, I did everything on my own. I, I look for fruit growers. I look for, they've got it down yeah. already. Like their blueprint is already. Yes. template for anybody else so that this wants group to will probably just turn into like a resource board it's like amazing. eventually and then it'll be an open thing where it'll be a, like a local community i think more and more people are going to move here oh um, so much so and i think more and more people that resonate with the type of lifestyle the fruit lifestyle vegan lifestyle are just all going to come together and build their own community at this point i think that people are just sick of being online and they just want to be with each other mm -hmm. and that's why all these fruit looks and and fruit festivals are popping up everywhere, and I think it's amazing. Yeah. I think it's great. Not just fruit, vegan, whatever mm -hmm. lifestyle it is that's much much more towards health. Health enthusiasts yeah. are getting closer and closer, and the world is very, very small. And it was amazing to have the Internet as like a, a place to really refine all of it, figure out yeah. what, what our ideals are, who, who, who we harmonize with online, and then... When we meet each other, it's awesome. It's like it's, it's like amazing. there's like, like there's no the chemistry yeah, there's is no amazing. warming up period. It's just like we're yeah we're right exactly. off the bat family. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. exactly what it is. It's like to be continued. It's almost as if you know them. Sometimes you meet a celebrity and you're like, oh my god, I feel like I know them. Mm -hmm. And it's the same type of thing. Someone does a YouTube video and they meet you for the first time. It's it's a connection. I've made a lot of friends that way. Absolutely. A lot of friends. I suggest and encourage you to make videos of your own, even if it's a making it of your little dinner or anything that you're eating or you have somebody interview you or somebody else could be behind the camera and make videos and just keep people aware i think it's really sure. important i think it's really important i think you could a make friends for life and b even if it's not for that the cause is so much greater we have so much work to do and yeah. these videos are Absolutely. spreading far There's and wide so much good further than you out. think yeah further than you think i mean people at costco are noticing me and they're not even eating this way you know mm -hmm. it's just amazing funny story michael was just uh i mean my um the secretary that works in my daughter's school made the connection after knowing her for a year she says wait a minute your husband's michael arnstein i watch his videos all the time oh i was like yeah you didn't realize and she's like no i'm like but you've seen him she's like i i do I can't, what, I'm an ultra runner, and she just couldn't believe it. And she watches his videos, and it was just a connection that she made. She wasn't a fruit eater, she wasn't a vegan, yeah. but but then maybe she will be, you know what I mean? And that's Absolutely. the stepping stone that we're hoping to achieve, uh, right? Yeah, so I encourage anybody to, to make videos, and if you see anybody that you recognize from the videos, just come up and yeah, say hi. Yeah, come up hey, and say yeah, hi. Don't, I don't watch be embarrassed. Your videos. <laughs> yeah, I was at a veg fest recently with T. Colin Campbell speaking, and somebody came up to me and said, are you Victoria? And oh. I just, yeah, it was like, it was it's great. So cool. It was great. I'm reaching. Um, well, it's not even about that. It was I like know, I was I mean, reaching somebody. I was reaching. Yeah. I was reaching someone. Somebody watched something that I had to say. Absolutely. And 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 liked it. You know what I mean? It wasn't like, it wasn't like a hate thing. It was just really, really comfortable and really nice, and it resonated with them. And I was just really happy to hear that. Yeah, we're all amazingly unique, and we all have something special to share for sure. So it's worthwhile. It's even a good practice for ourselves, watching ourselves. I watch my camera. own videos. Learn, I, you, you I say it all the time. Yourself, I, I feel like I think it's great motivation for me because mm -hmm. I know where I was at that time, and I'm like, oh, I was really right on, or I was going through a hard time at that point. 
and look how I got through it. I think it's a really good journal and a diary. Mm -hmm. Even if you just use it as a private, exactly, you could, you I could, agree. Yeah, you could see yourself and the way uh -huh. you we react to things. Yep. I just I think it's great. Yeah, people. Some people don't watch their own videos. I watch mine. Yeah, I do too. I really I'm really usually love like them. Surprise, and I, yeah, I learn things about myself. Yeah. I, I find it very beneficial. I same here. Well, Ryan, a pleasure as always. I love seeing him. We didn't get a laugh out of you yet. <laughs> We're gonna have to get that laugh out. <laughs> At do one a, point, I don't do know. A what comedy I'm video. Do a though. comedy video, but I have to get a laugh out of this guy. <laughs> this guy here a little you'll bit. hear. I, I'm easy to amuse. Like, yeah, you'll see. <laughs> You're easy to amuse. <laughs> yeah, for there sure. There you go. He's cracking himself up. All right, guys, thank you for watching, and uh, find Ryan Lewis, and you will be pleasantly surprised. You'll, wait, why don't you show everybody how tall you are? All right, you'll see how tall he is. Because he's not going to put the camera. <laughs> look, look, look. Check this out. <laughs> right, well, how tall are you? I'm six foot four. About. Six foot? <laughs> I'm really this short, guys. And he's really this tall. Okay. Signing off. Bye. Aloha. Aloha.